Hello and welcome back to Second Plays. It's dang Enter the Gungeon time. This is like the 50th video of uh, Enter the Gungeon that I've done. And uh, I can tell you, we more often get further than when I first started. So that's, hey man, that's progress to me, you know? I'm playing as Steve today. No, Ace. What did I name this guy? I don't know what I named him. Anyway, we're playing as this guy today, the pilot. Maybe maybe we'll go Steve. Steve the pilot. That's a Wonder Woman reference. As good a reference as any. Uh, so we'll play as Steve today. And uh, yeah, it's uh listen. It's been going. It's been going, man. You know? It hasn't been going great. It could have been going better. And uh, I wish that I had beaten the game by this point. That would have been super de duper for me. But uh, alas, I have not yet beaten the game. And I don't think that I'm going to beat the game in this particular video. But I try my best. And uh, if I do win, I'll say, oh damn. I can't believe I won. So look out for that. Now, the thing I want to focus on is still dodging towards the center of the room as opposed to the outside of the room. I feel like I've been doing better at that. And uh, and that's been good. But uh, it could be better. You know what I mean? Don't want that. What is this? Helix. I think I've had that gun before. I can't remember if it's good or bad. I think it shoots like a Ghostbusters style. Um, what is this now? Oh, this is just straight up the... Uh, the marine item. I, was, I thought it, for some reason, I thought it looked different. I was like, that's, it almost looks like the marine's item, except it looks kind of more like a cell phone, but I guess it's, uh, no, it's not. It's just the marine's item. Now, other things we need to focus on, I think, is getting all of the chests each floor. Feeling made, whoa, what is this now? Oh, it's bullet. It's the bullet gun. It's the gun that fires, it's the bullet that fires guns. The absurdity of this game, man, this abs this game is like, sometimes I'm like, maybe it's too absurd. You know what I mean? Cigarettes would make us cool in the 1950s, but it ain't the 1950s anymore, pal. So we would, we would try to get stout bullets, I believe. If I had a say in what we got, I'm going stout bullets all the way. Shops are more important than chests, and here's why. Okay? I often find myself buying keys. But if there's an item in the shop that's, like, objectively good, we should be buying that. Because, well, because, let me tell you why, okay? Yo, oh, get dusted. Because, uh, if you buy... Get dusted. If you buy the, uh, item in the shop, you know what you're gonna get. If you buy the key, you could get some garbage. Oh, what are we doing? Dodge towards the center, you fool. This, oh. Oh, the badness knows no bounds, does it? But yeah, so if you... You know what I mean? You know what you're going to get if you buy an item from the shop. You don't know what you're going to get. If you if you, if you you take that risk, if you open the chest, you can get something bad. You want something bad? I don't think so, man. Usually this is... Yeah, I was going to say, usually this is two waves if it's in the the fire room. You're like, we haven't been to the Oubliette in like a year. Yeah, that's that's on purpose, my dude. I think the Oubliette is a trap for me. It's too difficult, honestly. So like this, we could buy a key, right? Or just see if we unlock it with the old space bar arena. And we do, and we don't gotta worry about it so much now. Heavy bullets, thunk, thump, thump. That's the, uh, that's the noise that the that a hand, that a, a bullet man shooter underneath guy does. That sounds got away from me for sure. Uh, and I, I don't quite know what I was trying to say, to be honest with you. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. That bullet's the size of uh, just the, uh, like a whole continent or something, you know? 
Of course, my old nemesis! It's the buff bird. It's the buff bird. Wait a second. Oh man, I just realized there might be no game sounds. For how long, I do not know. How big are these guns gonna be? <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. I mean, what else do you need, you know? I apologize if there's no audio at the beginning of this video. I didn't want it to be this way. Uh, I don't know how many videos have been audioless now. I hope it's not many. It's some number, though. It's some non-zero number, too. What is this? This is a tennis ball locker. Interesting. We saved the heart for later here, so... I'm real sorry about that, guys. I'll have to check the last couple videos I put up and see if there's just no audio like a like i'm like i'm dumb like i'm like i'm trolling or something i thought for sure i saw the audio bar moving in a different game that i was playing interesting anyway we use the tennis ball gun because i feel like it's just gonna be great when we can like the whole screen is these huge slow-mo bullets oh yeah we want to get bullet ammo back i feel like that's our boss killer you know what I mean? Because it's got... The bullet, because of the hugeness of it and everything. You know? I don't know. I just feel like it'll be a better... Ah! Get out of here, you jerk! Get out of here! How many of these damn things are there going to be? More. Even more? I was going to make a uh, reference to a video that came out, I think, like, literally nine years ago, which is because I did, I said more in kind of, like, a silly voice. It always reminds me of uh, the potion seller meme. I'll have your strongest potion, potion seller. You can't handle my strongest potion. That kind of stuff. Anyway. If you want dated internet references, I am your guy. I got dated internet references for actual days. Actual factual days. Look at our tennis ball gun. Oh, what are we doing right now? What are we doing? We're dodging towards the damn edge of the room again, aren't we? What did I say, Zekin? You do that again, and I'm you're getting the you're getting the bat, my dude. And I don't mean Casey. I mean, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit you with a bat, Zekin. A nerf bat, though. I don't wanna get, like, I don't wanna ruin, cause any damage to my face. So a soft bat, but a bat nonetheless. You could say I've been a very bat boy. Ha 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 ha, got him. That's, uh, that's the biggest Godium moment since, uh, since uh, America said that if Gorbachev uh, signed the deal, that they would back out of Russia and not interfere with it anymore. <laughs> Look how that worked out for you, guy. Oh, oh, that's not what we meant when we said we wouldn't expand any further uh, to, to the east, Gorbachev. You can dolt. We tricked you, bro. We, we crossed our fingers behind our backs. <laughs> Oh, we don't, we don't care that that led to years of instability and it, it eventually uh, put people into a situation where they genuinely ruined another country. Ukraine, by the way. Ukraine, if you're wondering, okay, what does this do? Excuse me? I don't even know what to say about this gun right now. Are you seeing this? Like, what does that even mean? I don't even know, man. Here's what I here's what I do know, though. Okay, here's what I do know. Our guns are trucking. 
Let's go back to the t-shirt cannon here. Yep. Or sorry, pox cannon. I get it now. It shoots poisson. There's just nothing over there. Okay, fair enough. We got 70 muns, by the way. What are we looking at? Can we take a giant blunderbuss or a loot bag? That costs a bajillion muns. Too many muns for me, bud. Let's sell our blood. Yeah, it's always good to donate uh, your blood to those in need. So, you know. I do want that, but uh, I more want this armor, armoire, and this key, I think. And we can take another armoire, too. Beautiful. Booterful. Getting a lot of armoire is great because, first of all, it's cheap. It's cheap AF, okay? Ah! Get out of here, you, you cowards! Oh, I knew it! And, oh, we don't even need to go down this hall? Are you joking me? Can you, oh my god, can you imagine paying like 40 gold for all that armor, losing it on a room you didn't even need to go into? Like a fucking absolute dumb dumb. I was gonna say something more offensive to myself and I thought, you know what, let's keep this PG-13 today. Even though I don't want to. I want to be like, oh, you. We got to do it. We got to open it. Normal style. Oiled cylinder. Reload faster. That sounds wonderful. I'll take that and I'll have a great day. Thank you very much. Okay. What are we, what are we doing? I think we want the giant laser. Whoa, shoot. No, not again. I've only fought this man once before. It's the door boss. The door boss. Yeah, you're gross, dude. Why are you looking for? That's gross as heck, man. Why you gotta lick like that, bro? That's gross. That your 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 bullets are gross and disgusting and yucky. Okay? You have yucky bullets, my dude. Just blank them. Just blank that yuck fest. Oh yeah, okay, I, okay, I, I got you. You're in the damn skeleton, okay. Yeah, I hate the skeleton too, pal. Nope, don't die. Don't die, you fucking coward. Don't die. I mean, you freaking dang it! Ugh! Oh, that run was so good, man. I have to drink water so I rage less. But I want to rage hard, man. Here's the thing, here's the thing, because you're like, why are you raging, bro? You lost to the door boss. You only fought the door boss one time before. Why you gotta rage? What is this? Shrine to the old gunslinger. There's a description. Kill your past. You've already damned your future. The rest is worn away. What? What does that even mean? Anyway. Here's why it's so rage inducing. If I didn't go down that damn hallway where I just failed and took two points of damage, Breaking both my armors, guess what? We would've won that fight, man. We would've won that fight. Okay? And then when I be here, back to the beginning with my little laser pistol that shoots normal sized bullets, nah. I would've been on top, man. You know, I would've died to the next boss or something. Oh, this game, it, 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 it speaks to my rage in ways most games do not. I'm not the ragiest video gamer, okay? I, I would say I get passionate, for sure. Uh, I would also say like, I get, wow, that was wonderful. I would also say like, I do get pretty mad, um, but I very, it's very unoften. It's not very often. That's how you say that in, pro in the Queen's proper English. Um, it's not very often that I get like, mad enough to RQ something. I might like put the game down for like maybe a, maybe like a minute, but then I'm back at it, man. Oh, no mimic. Oh, we get a little skeleton friend? Baby good shellaton? He's a, he's a good little shellaton. He better freaking laser enemies with his eyes, okay? If he does anything else, um, I'm not gonna take him next time. I'm gonna leave him back. Oh, look at that freaking eye laser! 
That thing was better than even the regular skeleton's eye laser. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Burn him to death. Yeah, you are a good little skeleton, are you? Oh, I'm gonna pet him. Oh, I can't pet him. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Big lasery dudes. Get fudged, opponents. This man sells things for keys. Interesting. Sick smoking kills, okay? So I don't want I don't want to buy that. I'll buy the key. I'll buy the armoire. Buying health seems like the right call, but maybe I'll see what color our chest is first. And if our chest is green or brown, I will just use the key. Ah! I will just use the key to uh to uh purchase the the health. The heart locket. If, however, our chest is like red or black or purple or some other sweet color. The color of bruises. Green, blue, black, red. These are the color of injuries. Oh, you can't you can't blow me up, dude, when I'm spinning through the air. That's them's the rules. You're a really good, you're a really good guy, little baby Shelton. Did you see him chop? He did a little chop animation, dude. Yeah, 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 you took my armor. I don't care about you, dude. You suck, bro. Yeah, find someone who cares, dude. I've got this sweet baby good Shelton here with me. You have a sweet baby Shelton on your team? I didn't think so. Okay, dodge towards the center, you dolt. Man, oh man. Yeah, laser, laser, laser him. Laser him. Kill him with your laser eyes, baby good skeleton. Kill him with your laser eyes, boy. Yeah. If my son had laser eyes in real life, dude, like if I have a kid and he gets laser eyes, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna name him baby good skeleton now. It's such a great, it's such a cute name for a child. Baby good skeleton. Yeah, here come the laser eyes, ghost! You suck, ghost! Did he find me items too? Oh, what a good boy. That fucking rascally raccoon's gonna steal that, that ammo, but guess what? We don't, we ain't using ammo, okay? We got no need for ammo! Oh! Get dusted, fool! Get dusted! Me and my boy, my baby good skeleton, going on adventures, cause he is a skeleton! Having lots of fun, laser and pools. After we're done, I'll take him to the pools. We use the key there because we're doing the strats. I'm buying the health. I'm buying the health now. That was the strat. That was the stated strats. What are you gonna? You can't get mad at me. You're like, wow. Why would you waste the? No, wrong. Get out of here. And we're also gonna buy cigarettes, even though they kill. What do they do? Does it just say cigarettes kill or something? Nope. You can use them? What does using a cigarettes do? Ah, the trigger twins, I see. I see. Uh -huh. It's time for you to. Time for you guys to meet my boy, Flare Gun. What, what did that do? What did that do? Did using the cigarette simply deal damage to myself? Go, baby, good Shelton! Dodge towards the center. Towards the center, you get What do I even want to... What, what's a good enough name to call myself in this situation? Dumb fuck McGee? I think that's too harsh, maybe? Maybe it's just harsh enough. Yeah, get mad. Get plum mad dog mad. Go to your window and shout. I'm angry as hell, mad as hell, and I won't take this anymore. All right, baby good Shelton, you're a champ, but I fucked up by smoking cigarettes, dude. You shouldn't smoke cigarettes. Smoking kills, I know that. Okay, I know that. I should know that. I just wanted to see what it did, man. Why would they put a game 
an item in the game that all it does is hurt you. Even if it's a good PSA about smoking, okay? Are they like, you gotta learn your lesson even in the video game smoking's bad, dude? Well, guess what? I did smoke a couple times in my life. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I smoked maybe a, a pack of cigarettes throughout my entire life. Uh, uh, half of that pack, at least, was while I was in university. And I thought it would be cool. I thought it was cool, okay? I was like, well, everyone smokes, dude. And I had a lot of friends that smoked. And guess what? It sucked ass. If, if I'm being quite frank. And I hate to use this is this this particular video is already kind of crossed to the R-rated threshold in the amount that I've been cussing. So I will be frank with you when I say it sucked ass. First of all, in in Canada, a pack of cigarettes at that time at that time, it's worse now. But at that time was like ten dollars and some odd cents. Yeah, okay. So perfect. So you're like, well that's not bad, dude. That's only like 10 bucks and then you can smoke a cigarette every day and you'd have enough cigarettes to last you for about some amount of time that I don't I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not a hundred percent sure how long that might last well we can definitely take that and get rid of the cigarettes dude smoking kills maybe that'll kill that raccoon maybe he'll get baited into taking the smokes anyway so I know you're saying, you're saying to yourself, that's not that bad, dude. That's not that bad, dude. I, I buy a coffee every day for a week. I'm coming out about a tenner anyway. You know what I mean? Well, guess what? You don't just smoke one a day. No, maybe at first, okay? Maybe maybe, maybe at the beginning, you, you smoke one a day. You're happy, you're happy man, happy girl. You know, you're happy whoever you are. Guess what though? That's not how smoking works, dude. Soon, you're gonna be smoking more than one a day. Maybe, maybe you decide I'm gonna smoke two a day, okay? Now, and you're like, well, two a day? Well, geez, that's just, that. now it's a it's a bit more. And maybe some people have a Starbucks order that's about that, you know what I mean? But it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there, man. Soon, you're gonna find yourself smoking three a day, okay? Three a day. Already now, you're out 10 bucks every few days or whatever. Every three days, I don't know how much you're gonna smoke. Smoke pack, to be honest, okay? And maybe, just maybe, if you lived in the area I did, you say, wow, smokes are so expensive, I'm gonna buy them off my buddy. You know, my buddy gets smokes from the reserve. That's what we always used to say. Smokes from the reserve. There's a uh, indigenous person reserve. Uh, whoa, what? Okay, what happened here? Why, why did this happen? Why, why did this happen? <laughs> I mean, I want to buy keys for sure, because why did this happen? Anyway, so you say to yourself, well, I'm just going to smoke, I'm just going to smoke, you know, a couple packs from the reserve then. And they sell like they sell it like by like the the thirties or something like that, okay? Uh, and uh, and you're like, that's great. Well, first of all, I don't even want to talk about the fact that buying your smokes from a unsanctioned vendor is bad. Secondly, buying smokes from an uh, listen, I I don't know if this is PC or, or not. We called it the Indian Reserve as a kid. I don't know how the how the how the, uh, how the, the people, what the hell? Do you see that we have 500 gold right now? I will finish this point. Anyway, okay, so we called it the Indian Reserve when we were kids. Uh, and, uh, I don't know if that's, I feel like that's probably, that would be the incorrect thing to call it now, but, uh, I don't know the correct term to, talk, to call it, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Um, Anyway, so we would get smokes uh, from the Indian Reserve. I luckily I didn't participate in this particular part of the getting smokes culture, which I think is was for the best. But anyway, what? I 
I need some time to process what has happened here. Because I want to know, but at the same time, I'm so confused. I believe we have a giant robot as our friend, which is just delightful. Okay? But why do we have a giant robot as our friend? You know? I just am confused. Anyway, I'll figure this out in a second. So, you don't want to buy smokes from a place that's not regulated the same way as the as, as a government regulated smoke crafting facility, okay? And that's not to speak ill of the reserved cigarettes. Not at all. Not at all. I'm sure that they were great. But you know what wasn't great? I'm sure not all of those were because you don't you don't get them right from the reserve. You get them from your buddy who claims to have gotten from the reserve. You don't know what this guy's doing, dude. You don't know if he's just like, oh man, I'll just make some smokes and I'll just sell them to these dumbasses and I'll make a ton of money. You know what I mean? And secondly, specifically on the point of cigarettes from a native reserve, indigenous person reserve, I'm not sure of the exact language. Please understand that. Uh, well, you're just, you're cheating, right? Like, you're not supposed to have those smokes. Like, the reason that the smokes are cheaper a, a, a lot of the time is that they're exempt from taxes and stuff. But unless you're freaking... Unless you belong to that particular group of people, dude, no, don't, right? Like, that's the plan. The, pl the plan is pretty highly no, don't. So, like... Anyway, don't smoke. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. Smoke some weed if you want or whatever, man. Like, listen, I don't know the specific long-term health effects of smoking weed yet, so I'm not going to sit here and claim, like, I know exactly, you know, what's going on in that situation. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, I feel like there's probably some, and personally, smoking a lot of weed didn't sit well with my brain. But, like, that's, you know, each, each person is their own, and, uh, and that's how you do it, man. If you already smoke, honestly, it's kind of weird, right? Like, I feel like the way that the world's gone, I have less and less smoking friends than I used to. It used to be a lot of the people I knew smoked. And I didn't, like, super change who I was hanging out with or anything. It's just kind of like, smoking has fallen to the wayside, I feel like. And I, I'm not young enough to really have a lot of friends that vape. Uh, you know, but uh, it is what it is with the vaping. I mean, some people got vapors going to vape, I guess. Um, personally, I tried smoking. It, it wasn't for me for a number of reasons. Not the least of which was just that simply the cost of smoking was like way too high. Um, so don't, yeah, don't smoke is what I'm trying to say. Especially if you're younger. If you're younger, you think it's cool. I don't know what you've been watching. I don't know who you associate with. Once you become an adult, it's not cool. A, a lot of people, when they see people smoking, they're like, ugh. Really? You're a smoker? Really? Still? In 2021? Especially with all the COVID and stuff, man. Like, lung sicknesses and that. Like, don't don't ruin your lungs, dude. You gotta keep your lungs healthy for the COVID. If I smoked a lot, I got the COVID. You know what I mean? If I smoked a lot, I would have had a hell of a time with it. As it stood, I had a hell of a time with it. I, I did not enjoy having the COVID. I, I was fortunate... And it, it wasn't very serious. It felt like kind of like a bad flu that wouldn't go away. But uh, in terms of my breath and stuff, like it's all Gucci. But I was fortunate. Yeah, Knight in Shiny Armor? I don't think so, pal. Okay? I, 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 he's a giant robot. So, so that's what's up. All right, wait. Oh, uh, uh, the Casey. Oh, this, this challenge is designed for me. Now, do you think my baby good Shelaton and also the robot count against? No, they don't. Nice. Okay, so I hit two enemies and then they killed the rest of the room. We got AC 15. Armor class. What is it? It's a D&D &D reference. I got it. Uh... Armor class non-zero. Becomes more powerful while its bearer is armored. Ooh. I sees. A drill. Knife shield. P 
Pitchfork. Knife Shield is an active item, I know that now. Oh, I forgot we had infinite money, but not enough money to get that drill, though. Prototype teleporter. Teleports us to a special room. I want to say it... Is it like the one in Isaac? Where it has a chance to send you to somewhere awesome? I want to imagine it's like the one in Isaac. Am I am I dumb? What happened there? What? Okay, I know what happened there. I just ran off the cliff. Can you not make this dodge? Oh, you can. Oh, dude, I was slowed down. Don't even talk to me, game. I was slowed down though. The first couple times, I was slowed down. Oh no, I locked my boys out. Oh, just my one boy. Baby Good Shelton's still here. Thank you, Baby Good Shelton. Junk, are you stuck? Are you stuck in this wall? I believe my boy might be stuck in that wall. Oh, oh, he popped out. He popped out. He figured it out. Don't smoke, okay? Listen. Smoking isn't cool anymore. That's it. There's just so many reasons to not smoke. So few reasons to smoke now. It's like when I was a kid, smokes were hella cheap. Everyone who was cool smoked. If you wanted to be cool, you basically needed to smoke. Nowadays, it's like the opposite, dude. It's like if you smoke, you're a, you're a social pariah or something, dude. People are like, oh, you oh you still smoke? Oh, that's so dirty and stuff. And I'm not saying it's dirty. I don't want to talk like that. Uh, I think it's I think it's 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 bad for your health. I don't want to say things like it's dirty because I think that there are a lot of people who suffer from an addiction who need help, and I feel like calling something that they do dirty is really counterproductive to trying to help them. You know what I mean? Like, you don't help people by saying they're dirty. This is... Eight out of ten times, no one's, no one's like, oh, I'll do what you said because you called me dirty. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, now that I know it's dirty, like, I feel much, much better about not doing it. No, people don't think like that, man. People are like, oh, you called my thing dirty? It's not dirty? I'm not dirty. You calling me dirty, bro? And then they do it more. They double down. They triple down. They get lung cancer, and then it's your fault. You don't want to give anyone lung cancer, right? So, don't smoke. Probably don't vape. The only reason, because there's going to be people who are like, wow, vaping is just as bad, dude. Why would you couch your language about vaping? Well, because there's... I don't know yet. I haven't read the article specifically saying it's as bad as smoking. I know that it's, it's bad. It's not good for your lungs. My recommendation to you would be to not do it. Uh... That, that's that's more based on my personal opinion and the limited research available, okay? It's not like smoking. Smoking we know for a fact. Lots of years of studies. Definitely unhealthy for you. Vaping, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that is very bad for you. Don't do it, but... You, you can't claim stuff you don't know. You know what I mean? That I take that back. You should not claim things you don't know. You can. Anyone can. You can do whatever you want, man. It's a free. It's a free world, right? Like, you, if you if you want to claim that smoking is good for you, you can. You're 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 wrong and you're harmful. You're harmful to people, especially younger people who are maybe not so up on on you know if, is smoking good or whatever. How does this gun work? I don't want to waste one bullet to find out how it works, but also maybe I should. We're buying the ammo for our AK-47, by the way, because we have infinite gold, okay? We have infinite gold, so we can buy whatever we want, and if you judge me, you're wrong, because I have infinite gold. We don't have any armor, so... <laughs> Why have we had not fun bosses so far, man? Trigger Twins was okay, actually, I take it back. Trigger Twins is like, whatever. This guy, though? This gun is amazing. Like, for sure. Yeah, running into those bullets is bad. I could have got a perfect if I simply hadn't run directly into the bullets. But, uh, I mean, hey, you know what you're watching, right? So, I ran into the bullets. Yeah. 
What do you want? Uh, I thought maybe this would bring us to our, like, secret room or whatever, but it did not. We got so much money. And also we have a... I don't know if you guys knew this. We have a freaking battle robot companion, so... Here's the other thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna have kids one day. You know, if you... Don't get too spooked by that. But I'm going to. And, like... I think my policy is gonna be, like, man, kid... You want to try something, you try it in my house. You know what I mean? You, 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 you try it with me, where it's safe and I know what's up. And you don't you don't worry about judgment for me if you want to try something, you know? Because I feel like, I feel like what happens is you, you tell kids no all the time, and they're like, and then they're like, well, why can't I? And then they never get to try it in like a reasonable or controlled environment. And I, I don't know if it's true, but it, that feels like a problem, right? Like imagine if you could try cocaine in your own house. You know? You like everyone would be like, oh man. That is not great. You know that the the crash is bad or whatever. I've never done cocaine, to be honest with you. I, I've done very few of the harder drugs. Ammo synthesizer? Sounds like a great choice. Key? Yes. Armor? Yes. We'll save that uh that stuff for later. We could also buy some blanks, honestly, before the boss if you wanted to. Uh, because we have infinite money. So, there you go. But imagine for a second, like, you're a kid. Your parents like, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it here. And they're like, what do you mean? Anything? And you're like, anything. They're like, Molly? You're like, we'll get the Molly. We'll source the Molly from, from someone who's good at making it or whatever. However that works. I'm not a big drugs guy, okay? Shoot me. I don't know what goes into making Molly. But I'm, I'm sure you can get better Molly or worse Molly. And I feel like as an adult, <laughs> it would be easier for me to get good Molly. You know, than from some, from, oh, my buddy, my friend's, my friend's, uh, my friend's uh, friend is a drug dealer. And he knows where to get the best molly, mom and dad. Like, no, I don't think so, man. Let me go to freaking. Let me go to a, a website and buy it from some guy with a website, you know? I'll pay. I have a million gold. So. Now, this is gonna be like a pew, 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 pew. What? I got literally zero. I don't think I understood how that game worked. I can't tell a lie. Whatever. It's over now. It's all ogre. I feel like having three armor would make our AC-15 gun pretty good. You know? Does it say on it how good it is? No, it just says AC-15 still. I, we'll, we'll, we'll try shooting it. We'll see what happens. We got keys for days, so no mimic. Oh, this gun makes me mad. It's cool, cause but like that's the only reason it's that's the only reason that's the only reason it's cool. You knew that was gonna happen. You knew that was gonna happen. I'm putting that gun away. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, like I watched Breaking Bad, dude. When Hank, when he starts making meth. It's safer meth. It's safer for everyone. It's like it's cleaner. It's got less pollutants in it. You know, it's got less additives in it. You know, it's 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 no GMO, all organic meth or whatever. Like it, it was safer to do that meth. That's where I want to get the Molly that my kid wants to try if they want to try Molly. You know what I mean? I'd prefer them not to honestly because I don't have any experience with that stuff. And like, I don't have a specific desire to have an experience with that stuff. So it's like, it's different, I think. But if my kid did, I'd do it. I'd be like, fine, let's do, Mo let's figure out how Molly do. I'd have to lift it, look at the health benefits of it first. Like, it, it, will it kill them? Will it hurt them? Will it make them suffer unduly? If the answer to any of those questions is yes, it's like, well, maybe the reason we should do Molly is because it will melt our brains or whatever. 
Because I don't really know. Right? Is it a brain melter? I don't know. It might be. That's what I'm saying. It might not be, too. It might be okay for your brain. I feel like DMT and stuff, a lot of people say that it's good for your brain. But I don't necessarily believe them. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of them are Joe Rogan. So, you know, it is what it is. We just kind of teleport around, man. You guys got you got to teleport around, you got to see what happens. But I imagine my parents were like, hey, you want to do some Molly, dude? Like, no worries. Just, you know, do it at home. Whatever. Who cares? We'll get it for you, even. I would probably be like... Well, it's different in that I don't have a specific desire to do Molly now. But I would probably have been, like, at that time, I would have been less tempted, I think. If I was tempted by drugs, I would have been less tempted. Oh, I am selling crap to you, bud. Mm-mm. I need my junk this run. My junk. In a fancy robot suit. My junk. Isn't he very cute? My junk. Hottest new s single of the summer right there, boys. My junk. I just realized that you couldn't... You couldn't put a song on the airwaves called My Junk. <laughs> I mean, if you if you if you called it My Junk bracket in a fancy robot suit, maybe it would be no, still it wouldn't you shouldn't do that actually. Thinking more about it. Chest of ring of chest friendship. Chest friends forever. Does that mean there's no more mix? No more mech? Oh no, it just means there's more of them. Well, isn't that delightful? Cursed bullets. We know that this makes bullets do more damage based on your number of curse. So we'll get the elder blank. What does jammed mean? Whoa! What does this what does this mean? What's going on here? Are we being hunted down? Did we did we take like a specific level of curses and now we've got this guy and I actually accidentally just pooched our run by inviting into our run uh, the destroyer of all men, the Grim Reaper? Yes. That is precisely what happened. I've ruined our run unwittingly by by obtaining the highest level of curse or something. But I should also be doing the most damage, right? Right? I feel so dumb right now, dude. Okay, well, we can get this. Grab one of those. And uh, grab one of these bad boys. And uh, we've got the Elder Blank now, at least. Whatever that means. Yeah, I hear you, man. You're psychotic. You're like a... The Grim Reaper or whatever, bro. Calm down. Alright, what do we got? Who's our boss? Do we have to fight our boss? Oh. oh. Alright, well, sometimes you win and sometimes you really find a most spectacular way to lose. What should just be a run, a one run. Not a one run. Not a... Wait, yes, a one run. Not a run one. Well, we got him. We got him. You can't get me, Grim Reaper, dude. You can't get me, bro. Oh, he can't get me. He can and will get me. Does he go away? Please tell me he goes away when we start a new floor. I feel like he doesn't, man. I feel like he doesn't go away, though. Please go away, bud. Because this already has the damn... The damn hammers, man. We should be roasted. Oh, he doesn't go away. I knew it. 
I'm so mad in real life right now, by the way. It's not- it's our own fault. It's our own fault. I got greedy. I had- I had infinite money and I said to myself, this is perfect. I have infinite money. Oh my good god. I've never fucked up in such a spectacular way in my life in this game. Uh, at least it's gonna look cool when I lose. Yeah. Listen, okay? I didn't know. Now we know. Don't take too many cursed items. I was just thinking to myself, cursed bullet sounds great, and then we can just have all the curse we want. The enemies will be tougher. I didn't know the damn Grim Reaper was gonna show up, okay? But we learned. And we got some achievements. So thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the run. It was it was a cool run. Uh, and, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye-bye.